squad on there. Chicken livers, chicken gizzards. Wow. Gar. Gar got that one. No hook or nothing. right here. beautiful uh, olive colored channel catfish. Whew, I may just sit here for a while. It is hot. It's September but it sure don't feel like it. Can eat. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with catfish that size, man. A lot of people out there fishing don't catch nothing. Just in case you're wondering how the engine's doing, it's fine. We've already surpassed the number of hours that we put in both on the Predator and on the uh, the box stock engine. It's basically ready for an oil change and to put my synthetic oil that I want to run in it, but. Um, I really think that diesel would be the fun way to go with these engines because what the, these engines need more than anything, you need a lot of power at low RPM. The only way to get a lot of power at low RPM is displacement and compression or forced induction like superchargers, turbochargers, nitrous oxide, which is a chemical supercharger. But it's not really worth putting forced induction on such a small engine. You know, just to show you how efficient diesels are, this thing produces what, like 8.1 foot-pounds of torque? A diesel engine would do the same amount of work at like four and a half horsepower instead of six and a half horsepower. The Yanmar, a Yanmar 10 horsepower diesel engine produces what, like 20 pound-feet of torque. In order to get 25, 20 pound-feet of torque in a gasoline engine, you need a two-cylinder V-twin. Right, so you, and you burn like twice as much gas and only does half as the work, right? 